Ibrahim Mehlib has been housing minister in recent months, but he's better known for his success as chairman of Egypt's biggest building firm, Arab Contractors. It was a losing company and he turned it around in a few years. His management skills and expertise, especially with workers, are essential for the post. Recent premiers were all good academics but not in management institutions. Those skills are likely to be put to the test. His predecessor, Hazem al-Biblawi, resigned on Monday amid criticism that his government had failed to deliver on basic issues like security and economy. Mehlib is clear on his mission. We are here to solve problems. Retaining security, attracting investments and tourism are our main goals. We will begin work immediately without wasting time. He has brought in some fresh faces, but the ministers of interior, tourism and economy have remained in the new setup. They are expected to be sworn in by the weekend. So what is expected from them? Reducing unemployment and security are a priority. He must also improve wages, health and education. This government is also expected to oversee the upcoming presidential and parliamentary elections. Army Chief Field Marshal Abdel Fattah al-Sisi is widely expected to run for the presidency, though he has yet to make an official declaration. Now that most of the cabinet has been announced, the big question still remains. Will al-Sisi continue as defense minister or will he leave to prepare for his presidential bid? Yasser Hakim for CCTV, Cairo.